Welcome to a look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 11th of February and we have new mods. There have been a few updates. Uh, Gemeinde Rada Map by Deeper has had an update. Quite a few changes according to the change log. So, actually, I don't know. Let's have a look because it does actually say Edit for Maze Plus by the Alien Pool. Um, but we don't have that on console. So, I'm not sure if that's the only update. It seems a bit weird to put that in as an update on console. But anyway, that's what it says in, in the uh, changelog. There's been an update to Seasons Geo South Carolina by Adub Modding. There's been an update to Seasons Geo Shropshire or Shropshire by Z84. And there's been an update to the FS19 HW80 trailer pack by AAA Modding. They've all, all had updates. Mods for today though. In front of us we have got the Home Grower by Rowley Christie. You've guessed it. It's a three meter cultivator. Chunky little robust bit of kit. Please tell me you can't pick that up. That would be a bit weird. <gasps> you can. <laughs> No, it doesn't like it. But it does make it easy to move around the yard kind of thing. Um, how weird. So, well, you will find this under cultivators. The home grower, 2,500 to buy. It is seven slots, which is fairly high actually when you think about it. Um, but it cultivates. does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm going to let this cultivate this whole strip because I'm going to need it for another mod that's coming up. I know this tractor's way too large for this particular cultivator. Um, I can't remember what was the horsepower requirement we just looked on there. Uh, horsepower requirement is only 90 horsepower, so yeah, I'm way above what I need to be. <laughs> Using a 400 odd horsepower tractor seems a little bit excessive, but never mind. Let's set that off and away it goes. There you go. Three meter home grower cultivator by Rowley Christie One. Moving on. We have got the Annaberger HTD pack. This is by Vertex Design. We've got the TS28, which is the um, slurry spreader itself. It looks a bit like a tanker trailer, but it is a spreader. Um, and this also comes with the DTS 12.00, um, which is the dolly that goes with it. So if you want to use this in the fields with a tractor, you've got the dolly that can go with it. Um, but you can also attach it to a truck if you want to with the fifth wheel. That's entirely up to you, your prerogative. Um, nice tidy mod this, loads of detail on it. A few options available on this too. Very cool. Uh, we'll find this under, where are we, slurry tanks. There you go, the TS2827, 50,000 to buy. Uh, it is, how many slots? 16 slots. Options available, we can change the main colour, which does the chassis, so we can have it the red or a kind of grey I suppose yeah it's a grey isn't it uh, then the design colour we can have either as the kind of a, it's kind of a beige isn't it or a complete red I must admit I do prefer it that colour don't know why just do personal preference uh, and then it says oh, this is doing my head in now of late we're having real issues with with the menus on console, I don't know why they just don't like to bounce around particularly well. Uh, we can change the actual uh, decal, we can have it colour or we can have it white. So if you go for the all red one, it stands out a little bit better. All back to that. Uh, then we've got we have lizards, knocking or Michelin. If you have it on lizards, it drops it right down there, quite small. Uh, the knock-ins, I quite like those actually. Extra grand for the knock-ins, and two grand if you're the Michelins, which puts them on a wider, a wider tyre, 
to avoid as much compaction. Uh, then we've got a choice of um, standard. You can have it with reflector, which puts a strip around the back. You can have it with underride guards on the side, which takes off the reflector on the back, and you have the underride guard. Or you can have it underride guard and reflector on the back. That's entirely up to you. And then you can have it without license plate or with license plate. It seems to be quite a contentious issue, the license plate thing. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, some people absolutely hate having license plates or the option to have license plates and if they are on there some people want more options so for areas where they may live but uh, I, it's one of those weird things I've never really given it much thought but anyway those are your options available oh actually yeah the uh, the dolly is under dollies the DTS 12.00 16,400 I would imagine all of the dollies will work I mean at the end of the day they're dollies, they've got a fifth wheel attacher, it should do to do the job, but this just goes with it. Uh, this is eight slots for the first one. Uh, options available, we can change the main colour. And then we can have Lizard, Knock-in or Michelin. Design, Standard or Protection Plate, which puts a cover over the whole section there. Like so. And then again, we can have it without licence plate or with licence plate. That's entirely your choice. So what we'll do, let's grab JCB. This has, I think it's an 18 metre spread, isn't it? Yeah, 18 metres. I'm just going to cover this completely, pretty much. I won't do the whole strip because obviously uh, I've got another slurry spreader to look at. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's a nice wide spread on that. I like that. 26,000 litres, it will get through it fairly quickly, as you would expect with slurry tanks. Uh, but that's a nice mod, that. Liking it. Liking it, right. Let's unhook that. On to the next one. We've got this, the Joskin Modulo 2. This is by Matthew FS. This has got a capacity of 8,400 litres. Uh, requires 150 horsepower, working width of 10 metres. In all honesty, as a sort of starting out slurry spreader, this isn't a bad one. It's a nice looking one, lots of detail on it. A few options on tyres and things like that, but it's not too expensive either, if I recall. This is also on the slurry tanks. Interesting, you've got the Modulo 2 there, the standard in-game one, which has the drip... Uh, drip bar as well and double axle only 19,000 yeah that's pretty good I mean 8,400 litres it's not a huge capacity you're going to get through that fairly quickly but pretty cool rim colour we can change from the Joskin yellow to the Joskin, Joskin green fent red or galvanised inside if we want it to match the rest of the uh, the tank itself that's a nice look I do like that we can have Michelins on wide it does say wide and wide, it just changes the tread. There's a couple of different tread patterns on there. We can have a Mitas, or we can have a Knock-ins. Trelleborgs, we can have wides. It says wide again, but it's just got a smoother tread pattern on that one. And that's it for your options. So, we'll do the same thing. We'll hook it up. That's why I didn't do the entire strip. Um, this has only got a 10 metre spread, rather than the 18 metre of the Annaberger. But then obviously it's a much smaller tanker. Or spreader, not tanker. Now I do look at you on some of these because if you put the help window open, sometimes you've got the little pipes come down and you get a bit of animation on there. I've looked at the different options available. I haven't had anything come up to give the option to move pipes or anything like that. And same on the Annaberger, there was nothing, no animation on it other than what you get. I love how it glistens in the sunlight. And there we go, 10 metre spread. That's a nice animation, that. That looks very liquid. I know it sounds ridiculous because they all do, but that's that's a cool animation, though. 
I like it. Uh, there you go. So that's the um, the Juskin Modulo 2 by Matthew FS. Carrying on. We have more. We have got the Stroutman STK1302 by Semi. Um, this is a weird one. It's got me kind of baffled a little bit. No, no particular reason. Uh, this is a, a rigid chassis. Uh, hasn't got the... Uh, swinging front end double axle we have got Stratman we've got the Stratman SEK and I thought straight away oh, okay we've got a, a bigger Stratman that'd be that'd be quite handy it's actually the same capacity as the other one but it's more expensive which is a weird one hey don't get me wrong it's more options I've said it before um, this uh, what's the capacity it goes up to 4,000 to 12,000 litres plus there's a bail handling option available on this one uh, this we'll find under trailers and you see what I mean is the SEK802 there's a few options of trailers modded ones like this there's a Flegel one but we can have capacity 4,000, 8,000, 12,000 on bail loading wagon um, and that one's 8 grand obviously if we go up to to 12,000 litre one it's 12 grand This one, the Stratman STK1302. I mean, the, the main difference being this is a double axle rather than a single, I guess. Um, options available. We can change the main colour, which is the chassis underneath. From grey to red. Capacity, 4,000, 8,000, 12,000. For the 12,000 litre, it's 16 grand. So it's 4 grand. Is that right? 12... Yeah, four grand more um, for the same capacity. So it's just going to come down to an aesthetic, really. What what you like about it, if you prefer the double axle like that. Um, cover, when you get up to the 12,000 litre one, you can have a cover, yes or no. Which I don't think the other one has. So potentially that might be another reason why you might go for this one. No, the other one has a cover as well. But yeah, nice tidy little mod. Very cool indeed. Uh, so that's the Stratman STK1302 by Semi. Uh, we're going to have a look next, while I've got this out actually, at the Lizard Biogas Plant. This is by Full Power Shift. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this, take this over and I'm going to show you what I mean, just bear with me one moment. So here it is, this is the Lizard Biogas Plant by Full Power Shift. This only requires 10 slots to place. It has got a fairly large footprint, you're going to need a nice flat piece of ground to put this down. Now, um, a placeable biogas plant is nothing new. We've got the uh, small BGA by Landmensch that came out a while back, but that had a much smaller capacity. The flow rate wasn't as fast. Um, but that one did potatoes and sugar beet, which made it something a little bit different. This does exactly the same thing, but this has got a tip-in um, digester, which I think makes a massive difference. The um, digestate tank will hold 500,000 litres of digestate, your byproduct from whatever you put into here. But again, that's not even the good bit either. I found that playing seasons, now I don't know whether the prices will fluctuate or change with seasons, but on seasons, because the pigs don't take potatoes or sugar beet anymore on seasons, it kind of almost renders the root crops pointless in a way because you don't make a huge amount of money on them. Here's the thing. When you place this, it puts it into the menu under biogas plant, which is the second one down just there. If we scroll across, look at the price for potato and sugar beet. 900 for each. Now, I've got this on normal economy. If I keep scrolling across until we get to silage, which was, was always the big payout. You know, if you've got a biogas plant, generally the silage pays out the most. The silage is half the price. 450 for silage. It will take straw, hay and grass here as well. But that kind of makes potatoes and sugar beet more of a relevant crop again. That's brilliant. Now this will pay out at midnight, the same as any biogas plant does. Um, as far as where do we find it? It's under miscellaneous, I think. 
there you go, 300,000 to place, which I guess you're going to have to own the land to place it on, you may have to do a bit of levelling, but then when you come onto some maps, the biogas plant that's on the map, you have to pay that, if not more, to buy the biogas plant anyway, so you could do the same thing and just place one of these. Um, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So what I did, because I, I had the strap out anyway, 12,000 litres of potatoes, and I love the fact we can do potato and sugar beet. Let's say it's nothing new, the, the small ba uh, BGA from Land Mench did the same thing, you could do potatoes and sugar beet in there. I do like a, a digester you can tip into. I, I, it makes life a lot easier. Especially when you're doing crops like this, when you've got—I mean, you can. There are so many conveyor belt options that pick up from the ground, and you know you can use wheel loaders with buckets and whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. So having a digester that's up in there isn't the end of the world. It's just you know, I just like this as an option. And the beauty of that is you're going to get a nice payout for your potatoes or sugar beet with the byproduct being digestate, which you can then use as your fertiliser. This is a quality mod. I like this. Very, very cool indeed. So that's the Lizard Biogas Plant by full power shift at 10 slots. Bit of a winner, that. Continuing on. We have got this. This is the Kuhn IT26 Custom by GTX. This is a, f a mixer wagon container. Real Augie IT26. Um, this is a brilliant beer kit. <laughs> Lots of really quality mods today. I'm really impressed, I, I have to say. Um, very nice. This is ba based on the Kuhn Knight um, 142. Is it the 142? Yeah. The Kuhn Knight RA142, which is the wheeled one. Um, this has got some really nice features. Display down here, which tells you what you've got in it. Some of these, look, look at the details on here. What we've also got around the back, look at that. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, this is an IT runner one. Um, it works exactly the same as any other mixer wagon, which is great. But what's brilliant about this, we'll grab the, uh... Let's hook it up. Now, I haven't had any problems with it loading or unloading sometimes with IT runner backs and things. What I did find, it might just be this particular mod combination. There was a little bit of wobble when I was driving. It was, a, you know, nothing major. It didn't come flying off or anything like that. Um, but when you actually come to unload, the unload was on this side. Not that, that necessarily matters on most triggers, but we can come round, and as long as I've got it on the correct one, like so, that will unload very happily as it is now. R1 and triangle. Off goes the mixer, and we start to unload, which is lovely. But what we can also do... If I take off the back, like so. Now you can do this with any mixer wagon. You can leave the mixer wagon in the feed trough area and um, come back to it whenever you want to with your vehicle, hook up and you can unload. That's fine. The beauty with this being, you don't have to come back with your vehicle. You can put this here, and if I come over to this now and enter the vehicle, like so, it puts you on a footplate on the back. Brilliant, and even hold on to the ladder. I think that's so cool. So you can come back to it and you can unload. Without having to come back with the vehicle. And you've got the look, all the display things, the bits spinning, the capacity's dropping down as we go. Or on the front we'll do the same thing, the display's dropping. That's fantastic. What a cool mod. So hop back off again. Absolutely brilliant. Now this can be filled up exactly the same way as any of these other ones. You can do it with bales, you can do it loose under a, a, a pipe from a silo, anything like that. That's entirely your choice. So you could plonk it here, you could come and f mix up your ration here without ever having to hook it back up to a vehicle again if you don't want to. That's entirely up to you. Um, I, I just think, you know, you could put two, a couple of these down, can you? I mean... Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Just, I'm just thinking of, of options available on this. Um, 
the capacity is nice as well it's a nice size um we'll have a look under animals so that's the knight ra142 that's based off of now if you've got the Anderson pack, the largest one we've got on console at the moment is the Anderson A950 at 29,393 litres. Um, this one comes in at 26,000 litres, which isn't as big, but it's not far off. It's, an, it's a nice size for doing your mixing. Uh, there are no options available. You get what you get, but it depends what mix you're going to do on this. I normally do a one, one part straw, one part um, silage, two parts hay. You can just do silage and hay. You don't have to put straw in this at all. That splits down to roughly 6,500 litres of straw, 6,500 litres of silage, and the rest, the other 13,000 litres you can do, um, which kind of helps out a little bit. If you go with a Heston baler, a Heston baler does 6,000 litre bales, so you could get away with one bale of um, straw, one bale of silage, and... Um, Oh, have we got a wrapper for that? Or well, the hay, you can put two in. I mean, there are a few options available, whereas a 4,000 litre bell doesn't quite go in as neatly, um, so you might want to be filling this up with loose material instead. Again, it's entirely your choice, whatever mix works for you. Um, but this is, this is a really, really cool mod. I like that a lot. Very clever idea, this. I just think that's brilliant. Anyway, there you go. Um, that will set you back. How many slots is that? Four. Where are we? No, that's the wrong one. I've lost it. Ten slots. I was looking at the next one down thinking, 41 slots? That's insane. No, ten slots. <laughs> Very cool indeed. Uh, that's by GTX. Moving on. The last of our mods for today is the John Deere 9000 Pro series. This is by ITS. Um, the 9000 came out recently from Giants, I think, wasn't it? Um, this is a, a pro version. There's a few kind of custom options on this, which are rather nice. Um, now, looking in the mod hub at the description, um, there are uh, uh, Kemper cutters that go with this that have also been adjusted and changed because it says important. This pack expands the mechanics and displays of the John Deere corn chopper. The Kemper cutters are modified too. The mechanics are optimized for cab view, so cab view is recommended. Uh, this additional, uh, the additional mechanics simulated and visualized. We've got shredder performances dependent on the motor, power, emergency shutdown when you overload the shredder, um, automatic or manual pipe control, and there's night mode for monitors, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, this is this is nice. This is very very cool. Um, as you can see, we've got an option on changing the colour of it as well. The one I actually originally went for, which I've got out on the field, is a, is a bit of a hideous looking thing. That's my personal colour choice, not not because the mod's hideous or anything. Um, this has got a nice couple of little touches as well, which I've I've. I like the ITS does some really great stuff. Generally speaking, whenever I do a mod review on anything on ITS, I miss something or get something wrong because there's so much detail they put into the mods. It's incredible. Um, anyway, yeah, the the vehicle itself doesn't look any different, and, and because um, it really comes down to the in cab stuff, what we'll do is have a look in cab. When I start this up, you got these monitors here now, which make a big difference. If I open the pipe up that screen comes up now what you can also do is manually move your pipe when you move your pipe like so that blue bar swings side to side so without even looking around you can know where your pipe is so when I get to there my pipe should be over here which like I say you can't actually see it particularly well from here but down there you know that's where it is if I swing all the way back around let's bring it to about there you can just about see it poking up there, which is exactly what it says on there. That's a that's a nice feature. That's very, very cool. Now it does say bonus seat cam. We're kind of back a little bit. But very cool. Nice displays. I, li I like it. It's very, very nice. Now, as far as this goes, I'm going to show you something 
nil. And this is the night mode for monitors, which I think is brilliant. So rather than that real bright glow you get, which obviously if you're in a car at night and someone turns on interior light, puts on a mobile phone, you can kind of lose your vision. It's difficult to see out the window. And what they've done is they've given you a mode that when you turn on your lights at night, it dims the screens so you get a better view out of the cab. So I'm going to show you that now. How cool is that? <laughs> it's a, again very, very nice touch. Very nice touch indeed. Um, what we'll do, let's put the pipe away. And we'll also put the pipe away. Why has that not gone back? Can I open this up? Now, one thing I have found, and this again, this is probably me doing something wrong because I do this all the time. Um, if I go to this, it says. This is for changing the auto pipe, so you can have all, you can have pipe auto pipe active or manual pipe by pressing down, which is tip side like so. But I haven't found if I swing that out and open it out. If I now close that down, it closes it right back where it was. If I do that. I, haven't, I can't find anything. Am I missing the auto bit? I know I've tried it on the field as well, um, where normally when you drive past a trailer it will swing around automatically. I ha I can't seem to get that to work, and I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I've tried a couple of things, but anyway, I'm not too sure. Anyway, regardless of that, maybe it is me, and it could, could well be. I often, I often do this. Right, now this is one of the Kemper headers that comes with it. Now we've got Kemper headers already, but this is a Kemper header that comes with it in part of this pack. What we can do, if we look top left, we can change our tool options. So I've got my header, then I've got the front section. Now normally when you open the header up, that whole front section with the, the comfort wheel disappears. On this one, you detach it. Again, nice feature. I like that. Because um, when I first came onto it, as per usual, I opened up the header and I'm thinking, that hasn't gone, why hasn't it gone? And then when I tried to lower the header down, it wouldn't lower down properly. I thought, what, what's happening? Um, but if I just switch now and disconnect it, then we can raise and lower our header and operate everything as usual. Very, very nice indeed. I like that. What we'll do is have a quick look. Look that back up in the store all this then we'll have a quick look at it in operation so in store you will find the vehicle itself and the forage harvesters the 9000 series pro 361,500 obviously there are more options that go with this um, it, this is the one that's 41 slots you think oh that's high to be fair the class Jaguar is 44 <laughs> the other one's 50 I mean we they're high, 34 for the big X1180, so, you know, that's what you're looking at on slot counts. Um, we can change the main colour. Again, this is another nice feature. I like this. You know, go, whoa. Uh, rim colour, we could go for, I don't know. I don't know why I always go for black, but <laughs> you can go for something that really stands. Oh, why would you go with something like that? Uh, design colour changes the arm. So you go for jet black or if I want to go really garish go for it that's like a child's coloured in cartoon drawing of a forage harvester isn't it um, but we can have 770 horsepower with a short pipe 770 horsepower with a medium pipe 870 horsepower with a medium pipe 870 horsepower with a long pipe 970 horsepower with a medium pipe or 970 horsepower with a long pipe then back to 770 again. We can have wheel brand Michelin, which gives us wides, or we can have Midas, which also says wides, but they're a little bit narrower, I think. Yeah, a little bit narrower. Um, 
on the mitres and those are your two options on tyres. So a few options on configurations and things we can do with this which is very nice indeed. As far as the headers go we'll find these under forage harvester headers. Like I say we've got the Kemper ones in game and there's another modded pack knocking about. Um, this is the Pro series that comes as part of this pack. We've got the 345 Plus Pro which is a 4.5 meter, 16 slots. Uh, we've got the uh, 360 which is a 6 meter um, that is is that really one slot? Because I've got I haven't got one of those, have I? No, one slot. Uh, we've got three seven five, which is seven point five meter. Uh, that was showing as one slot as well, which is very weird. I don't know why. And then we've got the three ninety plus pro, which is a nine meter. Um, and these come the first one, the four point five, doesn't come with the comfort wheel that needs to be detached, but these three do. Um, options available? There are no options. It's yellow. So depending on what colour scheme you go for on your harvester you're always going to have the, the yellow attached on the front. It says, I say Kemper, it says John Deere, but they're kind of made with Kemper, aren't they? Um, but there you go. So those are your options available. What we will do is just check out the, um, the, the kind of, the new mechanics. I, I checked it a while ago. I, unfortunately, without showing, having two running simultaneously, it's hard to tell what the differences are but I think the, the whole point being in cab it's the new monitor designs and things like that so bear with me see what I mean about the colour combo didn't quite go how I hoped pipe out this is the random trailer hooks up to the back of this um, I often go for that for doing tests and stuff like that if you're looking for a trailer a nice big one that will hook up to most forage harvesters if not all of them the random sugar cane trailer doesn't it will take forage crops um, what we'll do is open up the header I've already taken off the comfort wheel that's over there and this is the 7.5 meter I think I went with on this one. Ah, uh, that's it. I couldn't work it out. Right, so what we've got then is the tip side auto pipe active and manual. Um, auto, when you drive off, it would automatically put it into the trailer, as it was doing like so. So now I've worked it out. Brilliant. It's been ages trying to figure that out. If I stop now and change that. And put that to manual, like so. For some reason I had to close the header for me to do that. If I start up the harvester, the harvester will run until it fills up and it's kind of got an internal tank. So immediately it fills up the tank and it won't unload into that trailer um, unless you have it on auto. There you go. Who knew? Well, me now, obviously. So from inside, let's close that off. You've got everything going on there. It kind of slows down a little bit. I think, obviously, as it's going through, I, I honestly can't see much difference with the animation at the front end, but I don't know if that's just me. So I think it is more to do with the monitors and that night view and that kind of thing rather than the actual animation on the head but like I say without having a side by side comparison um, but that being said everything else about this cool some nice additions on this and there you go so that's the ITS John Deere 9000 Pro Series by ITS and that is the last of our mods for today I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>